MLB The Show with a good one coming at you. It's the Baltimore Orioles, the St. Louis Cardinals. First pitch coming at you right after the break. And now, your 2022 St. Louis So just Cardinals. about set now. Here's the center fielder, Cedric Mullins. Leading off the center the center fielder, Cedric Mullins. The wind of the pitch. Swing and a miss. And we're underway here in the home opener. The big lefty turns, kicks, deals. Swing and a miss as he was out front. They really need to hang in there with that front side against this left-handed breaking ball. Going two now. And a foul ball, he stays alive. The pitch. Stays alive. Really great change of speeds. He goes off the off speed to the fastball, and the hitter doesn't know what's coming next. Next offering misses down and away. The one two. Swing and a miss. That one in the dirt. But they won't have a play as he takes first on the drop third strike. Well, maybe approaching this at bat with a bit too the much determination. Two. Sometimes you just got to let the game come to you. First, and he's back in easily. Digging in, Gunnar Henderson. First offering, misses the mark. And there's something you don't see very much in today's game, the pitch out. Swings and misses. Strike one. Good 2-0 changeup right there. I mean, as a hitter, you have it in the back of your mind, but you have to sit fastball and based on the swing. Quickly to second for one. Now to first, and it's a double play. Nice warm day here, good baseball weather. Does that change anything, Chris, especially for the hitters? Absolutely. You feel so much more comfortable at the plate. You're not worried about you know, getting jammed on fastballs inside part of the plate. Uh, you can kind of be more selective instead of just looking out away so that you can get the barrel to it in that part and get on the inside part of the plate as well. Drilled out towards left center field. That's well struck on its way. And out of here. Anthony Santander knocks one out. And the Orioles jump out in front. It's 1-0. Two outs, base is empty. Ramon Urias, the next to hit the for the Orioles. Baseman. Number 29. Swings through that one. 0-1. Oh, and one. The 0 one They've got him working a little harder in this first frame than he anticipated. So a foul ball makes it one and two. The wind of the pitch. That one is absolutely belted. That's back. Pulls it in on the warning track. Bottom of the first, stepping in, Tommy Edmond. We talk about guys Leading with good speed, and definitely he Not has it. Job. But pushing the offense Tommy. aside for just a second, Chris, it's the defensive side that I think the speed factors in the most. That's in for a strike. Well, he gets to balls that get by most people at that position. Just really impressive because there are certain times the ball comes off the bat, automatically that team that hit it thinks that they've got a base hit or they may have extra bases, and he just takes it away. Next one misses, and it's one and two. Right-hander kicks, deals. Lined in the left center, base hit.
And the tying runs at second base with a double. Well, that certainly feels good when you can win the at-bat after being down in the count, up against it with two strikes right there. Nice job going the opposite way with it. Letting the ball travel and not allowing the barrel to hook around the ball. It's so frustrating when you see a good pitch and your hands roll over. It was on the outside part of the plate, and he approached it perfectly. And it's second. So the tying run at second. And a foul ball. He stays alive. Edmund leads off second with nobody out. Next pitch in the dirt. Now one and two. And O'Neill is retired. Runner tags up for third. The relay. Here's Paul Goldschmidt. Obviously a guy who makes good contact, hits for average, but one of the things in today's game, the value in the fact that he hits both righties and lefties. And there's a foul ball. That one lifted to left. Hayes has a beat on it. Makes the grab. Runner tagging from third. The tag gets him, and it's a double play to end the inning. Back here in St. Louis, here's Ryan Mountcastle. Leading off for the Orioles, the first baseman, number six, Ryan the pitch. Mountcastle. All right, grounder into the outfield for a knock. I'm sure he feels really good about that one. Everyone's trying to elevate the ball in today's that game, but if you can hit a ball that hard on the ground, it's going to find Adley. some holes. Here's Adley Rutschman. That one's in there, 0 1. 0 1 for count. On the ground, a second might be two. Over to Edmund, and it's a double play. And now it's Austin Hayes. That is that. The left fielder, Austin Hayes. And he swings and misses at the initial offering. Next offering is fouled back. Strikes he goes out number three. Bottom half of inning number two and stepping in for the Cardinals, Leading Nolan Arenado. Seeing you talk about a guy that has all Nolan. the skills. The all range right, is really on. good, but the arm just stands out and he makes all the plays. And the right hater back to work. And that one is lifted in the air. Stowers. Ranging to his right. No trouble here. Puts it away for the out. And there's one down. Here's Albert Pujols. Batting fifth. The designated hitter. Albert Pujols. And first offering is fouled off. One down, base is empty. And it's fouled away. Swing and a ball hammered left field. That one back there. Gone! Albert Pujols goes deep, and it ties it up. It's 1-1. Clearly some frustration out there on the mound right now. I mean, that ball was so close to going foul. Would have been a long strike. But instead, 
Batter gets rewarded. Did a nice job of getting to the pitch and hitting it hard that enough to get over the fence. The right fielder at the plate. Oh. Lars Newtbar. Newtbar in there for strike one. The pitch. Way out front for strike two. Okay. And the right hander deals. And that skips in the dirt. Tied up here in the early going. Stays alive. Two down. Two outs, base is empty. And stepping in, the rookie left fielder, Juan Yepes. And he swings and misses, and it's nothing in one. There's the strike. Kelly left that change up up. Got away with one there, and he'll take it, but doesn't want to make that mistake again. To third. Whips it across. That's the third out. Inning over. Out of the third inning, here's the rookie right fielder, Kyle Stowers. Leading off for the Orioles, the right fielder, Kyle Stowers. Montgomery, back to work. Swing and a miss. Strike one. Right side. Gorman throws out to first. And one away in the top of the third. Jorge Mateo now. The shortstop. You talk about elite Jorge defensive players, especially Mateo. in the middle of the diamond. And this guy is at the top of the list. Puts a bunt down. Right side. Flips it behind his back. And the bunt attempt doesn't work out. Here's the Orioles' leadoff hitter, now Cedric that, Mullins. The reached on a drop Cedric. third strike his first oh. time. Bunting, and it's right in front of the plate. Not in time, and he reaches safely. Two outs, runner at first. Gunnar Henderson, the next to hit for the Orioles. To the right side, Gorman handles the chance, throws the first, and that is the third out of the inning. Back here at the ballpark, set for the bottom of the third, here's Nolan Gorman. Here we go. For St. Louis, the second baseman, Nolan. The line to kick the pitch. And that one fouled off. The 0 1. He swings and fouls one off. Left hand hitter waits. Ripped into right field, base hit. So a man on base to start the inning. Man, those are the types of hits where you don't feel any vibration in your hands whatsoever. Such a good feeling. It's hard to hit a baseball much better than that, and even a lot of professional hitters aren't able to reach an exit below of 114 miles per hour. I'll tell you what, that's a very impressive swing of the bat. Here comes the throw. Back-to-back -back singles challenged him with the fastball right in the heart of the zone, and he was clearly ready to jump all over. Tommy Edmond at the plate. Mountcastle. He comes home with it, and he'll be safe at first. Yeah, that was a wasted RBI opportunity, but a competitor like yeah, him, he is looking forward to making up for it in his Tyler. next at bat. Oh, O'Neill swings through it for strike one. Righty to the plate. 
He's looking for a ground ball to get a double play and out of this jam. Check swing. Now we'll look down to first. No, he held up. Molina at second. Edmund at first. One gone. Next offering is fouled back. Well, he got challenged with a good fastball right there. Just could catch up. And a pitch. Strike three. Got him swinging. And there's two away. Now so back. first and second no, with two outs. Now it's oh. Goldschmidt up to the plate. Goldschmidt. Good contact guy. Good defender. On the ground to third. They take the force out. That ends the inning. Back here at Bush Stadium, Anthony Santander at the plate. Leading off the Baltimore, a designated hitter, Anthony. Here comes the pitch. Santander. Out to short. Sends it to first. A great play deep in the hole. Ramon Urias, now the next to hit for the Orioles. 29. Swings through that one. 0 oh, and 1. Something I'm noticing in this one is that these guys are aggressive early in the count. It makes you wonder if that was talked about in the hitters meeting before this game started. And he'll two. Snags it for the second out. Two outs, base is empty. And here the is man. Ryan the Mountcastle. And he's Ryan. already singled in this game. First pitch, and he just misses. Two outs. Fly ball to right. And it drops in, but a good job to keep it in front. Really nice job staying inside with his hands to fight off that pitch. Man, that cutter was bearing in on him, but he found a way to stay with his approach. Didn't spin off it, and he hit it pretty well. Next to hit, Adley Rutschman. Yo one. Swing and a tapper that rolls foul. Next pitch is outside. Well, he's not afraid to fall into a two-strike count. Knows the strike zone very well. So much so that I think umpires will look at him. Got him swinging. And that is that. And welcome back. Ready to go. Bottom four. Here's Nolan Arenado. Four, eight, four. The third baseman. Nolan. And the pitch. Arenado. Inside, just missed. Next offering is in for a strike. A wind in the pitch. That's to third. Henderson over to first in time. Lead off hitter retired in the fourth. And now it's Albert Pujols' turn to hit. Hitter, number five, Albert Pujols. And a foul ball. Here's Albert swing at a high fly ball, deep left field. Pulls it in on the warning track. Man, that's one of those at bats where you have Number to remind field. yourself it's about the process. He did everything right, right there. Nothing to show for it. But in your mind, you have to convince yourself that it was a very good at bat. And first offering is fouled off.
And a swing and a miss. And that'll do it. Ready now for the fifth inning. And into the box for Baltimore, Austin Hayes. Off for Baltimore, the left fielder, Austin. And he deals. And a foul ball. The pitch. Bounding ball here, rolls foul. Owen oh 2 now. On the ground, right side. And it gets by him. Just a simple ground ball the other way. They had eyes on it, man. Sometimes that's now all that you need to do. Right Let the ball travel, Kyle. put the ball in play, and just hope it Kyle. finds a hole. Next to hit, Kyle Stowers. Rolled softly, but that goes foul. Bunch attempt, but that goes foul. Got him. And that's the first out. Jorge Mateo, the next to hit for the Orioles. Jorge Mateo. Going one. Swing and a miss, and he was fooled. With two strikes, may see some movement over there at first base, trying to stay. Here's the pitch, run around the goal. Pulled down the line, this one hammered, but it's foul. And now the lefty, runner goes again. Out there to center, O'Neal, long run. Flashes the leather on the running catch. And there's two away. Well, those can be pretty fun as an outfielder. Got to put it into his highest gear and go a long way to track that one down. Nothing better than that. You feel like a wide receiver playing football. Mullins, the batter now as he swings and misses for strike one. And here it comes. And that one fouled off. Kicks and deals. Here comes the pitch. There goes the runner from first. Out to center. And that ends the inning. Welcome back. Ready to go for the last half of the inning. Now the left fielder. Juan Yepes. For St. Louis, the left fielder, Juan Yepes. In the air, right field. Stowers makes the grab. One pitch and one out. Now, here is Nolan Gorman. Single to right in his first trip. Nolan Gorman. And he swings and misses at the initial offering. Kicks and fires. This one chopped on the ground, but foul. And the righty deals. Got him looking. Two away. That Two outs, base is empty. And stepping Yadier. up to the dish is Yadier Molina. Oh, In there, and it's 0-1. And a pitch. Quickly down 0-2 in the count. I think you got to choke up a little bit, spread out the feet. You don't know what the velocity or the location of this next pitch is going to be. And a base hit in the left field. That'll play. So the two-out knock extends the inning and sends them back to the top of the order. 
And he'll pull into second with two gone. Everything came together perfectly for him right there. He got a pitch he could get to out front, kept his bat through the ball, and didn't pull off and now roll his hands over. And that allowed him to rip that ball down the line for the double. Runner at second, two down. Next offering is in for a strike. That one to first. Mountcastle collects the tag, and that's out number three, inning over. Back here in St. Louis, new inning getting started, and into the box for Baltimore, Gunnar Henderson. Montgomery back to work. And first offering is fouled off. Swing and a miss, and that's strike two. So important for him to control the heart rate right now. He's got to go through the heart of this lineup. The 2 Good eye right there. And a pitch. And a foul ball. He stays alive. Definitely got the hitter conscious of the pitch inside. Really think the outer half is open. The one two tap back up the middle on the run sends it over to first leadoff man retired in the sixth Anthony Santander will hit next the switch hitter batting right and first offering is fouled off The wind of the pitch. Smash to the left side. And that's just foul. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. So he's gotten deep into this game. And at least so far, not showing a ton of signs of fatigue. That one the other way. Over to Goldie, and that'll do it. Back here at Bush Stadium, here's Tyler O'Neill. Leading up for the Cardinals, the center. The right hander back to work. Tyler. O'Neal. In the air, left side. Hayes makes the grab. One pitch and one out. Just pulled off of it a little bit right there. That front shoulder now coming open instead of staying closed. Ball. If he does that, he's going to be able to go up the middle the other way with some authority instead of a fly out to left. Slice the other way and foul. And now the 1 Smoked in the left. Base hit. So they get a man aboard with a one-out single. All over that one right there. Fastball pretty much middle-middle, and that's what you fall asleep dreaming about as a hitter. So no surprise he put a great swing on it. Here's Nolan Arenado. Big get there, and now maybe extra bases. Now it rolls down into the corner. Lead runner holds at third, so two runners in scoring position, and just one out. Two on, one out. And now here is Albert Pujols. And he swings and misses, Albert. and it's nothing at one. And it's quickly nothing in two on uh, the designated hitter. Puts it in the air out towards left center. Hayes sprinting towards the gap. Racing makes the catch. Two down. The tag gets him, and it's a double play to end the inning. We go to the top of the seventh, and into the box for Baltimore, Ryan Mountcastle. The wind of the pitch. Bounce to third. Zips it across. That's the first out, the top of the seventh. 
And here's the catcher, Adley Rutschman. The catcher, number 35, Adley Rutschman. And first offering is fouled off. That one back up the middle and it gets through. Well, that was an important at bat in this game, so a great job there stepping yeah, up to the challenge. That pretty much split the zone down the middle, and those are the ones where you got to make them pay. And now it's going to be Austin Hayes. One away, tie game. Go ahead, run, stands at first. The next pitch misses, and now it's even one and one. If you're a base runner, you've got to stay dialed in here. Look for anything in the dirt. Try your best to get in the scoring position. Swing and a miss. That's strike two. The pitch stays alive. One away. Tie game. Go ahead, run. Stands at first. And it's even up. On the ground to the left. Off balance feed. There's one. Double play. What a great killing to end the inning. Set for the last half of the seventh. Now it's the right fielder, Lars Newbar. For the Cardinals, the right fielder, Lars Newbar. And the pitch. And there's the strike. Next offering is foul back. Mullins under it. And he makes the catch. Well, there's one away. Here's the left fielder, Juan Yepes. Now back, left fielder, Juan Yepes. First pitch doesn't find the zone. Up the middle. What a stop. Not in time. Great effort, but it's an infield hit. Well, that may end up being an at-bat. We go back to yeah, later right. on when this Second game is over. Hit. Just a cookie oh, down right. the middle. I mean, those are the ones you dream about. Oh, Once in the cage, you're just hoping you get in the ball game. Right down the middle, not a whole lot of velocity. Right on top of it. And he'll one. Foul ball there. And puts the squeeze on that. And there are two outs. No, that was a pitch you got to crush. Unbelievable yeah, that he man. missed it right there. And I'm the telling you, he is going to be Not frustrated yet. with himself until his next no, at bat. Mullins on the move to his left. Great effort as he's able to haul it in. And that is that. Back here at the ballpark. We're at the top of the eight. And now the right fielder, Kyle Stowers. The right fielder, Kyle Stowers. Well, on paper, it's favorable to have a fairly quick inning here with two of the three hitters he's set to face batting from the left side, same side he throws from. Bounced up the middle. The throw to first, and that's one away as the leadoff man is out in the eighth. The batter, number three. So next to hit for Baltimore, Jorge, Jorge Mateo. Mateo. And he bunts, but that's a foul ball. Oh. 
Next pitch misses, and it's one and one. Trying to keep good speed off the bases. Lays down a bunt to the right side. Tosses to the pitcher, covering the bag. Two up, two down here in the top of the eighth. Now that Cedric the Mullins, Eagles. the next to Cedric. hit for the Orioles. One oh. for three. Swings through that one. Oh, and one. The pitch. On the ground to short. Edmund handles. Sends it across the first. And that's the third out. Bottom of the eighth. And now Tommy Edmund. Leading up for the Cardinals. The shortstop, Tommy Edmund. It's good speed at the top of the order here. You want to get it on, see if you can get a stolen base, maybe get around the bases and pick up a run. That one fouled off. And the next pitch is way outside. Righty delivers. And they get Edmund for the out. Digging in, it's the speedy outfielder, the Tyler O'Neill. Singy, you got to appreciate Tyler. a guy who's this good defensively. Oh, I mean, yeah. watching him track balls in the outfield, it is beautiful. Stowers gets under it. He's got it, and there's two away. Paul Goldschmidt next up for the Cardinals. He's a big, strong guy, can untie this game with one swing. And he swings and misses at the initial offering. Right hander kicks, deals. And a foul ball. Here's the 0-2. And that's downstairs and outside. And the right-hander deals. And a swing and a miss. And that's that. All set to start the ninth in this one. And into the box for Baltimore. Gunner Henderson. Montgomery back to work. That misses, and it's one and oh. Left hand batter waits. Gets under and pops it up. Oh, he can't squeeze it. To second, and that's not it. And he gets to first safely as a result. So I think I'll just sit here quietly in disbelief. Next is the DH, a switch hitter, Anthony Santander. Steps off and looks to first. But now they turn to Giovanni Gallegos. Now picking for the Cardinals. Number 65. Giovanni Gallegos. Fought off foul. Here's your one. Foul back all the way, and that's out of play. The kick in the pit. Runner goes on a line into the corner, but foul. The go ahead run aboard at first. Nobody out. Runner goes again. And a foul ball, he stays alive. Got it! 
And he's down on strikes for the second time today. Now batter. The batter now. Ramon Urias. Well, first base open. Really no reason to pitch to this hitter right here. Put him on. Have the force at second first. Perhaps getting any ending double play. Puts it away for the out. And here's the first baseman, Ryan Mountcastle. This is what stat nerds like myself might call a high leverage situation. Yeah, Pooh, not sure what the numbers say, but clearly an at bat that could change the course of this game dramatically. 0 oh, and 2 as he waves at that one. Well, Boog, if you're that base runner at second base, you want to be quiet out there. Not bouncing around, not distracting your teammate, the hitter. Make sure that he can clearly focus on that pitcher and that release point. Right-handed reliever. Got it! That ends the frame. And welcome back. Down the third baseman, Nolan Arenado. Meeting off for St. Louis. The third baseman, Nolan Arenado. Your attention, please. Now pitching for Baltimore. Number 74. Here comes a pitch. Just off the inside edge. Swing and a miss. Chased it out of the zone. And he deals. This one in the air center field. Way back there. Pulls it in on the warning track. So now here's the DH. Now Albert Pujols. The designated hitter. Albert Pujols. And he swings and misses and it's nothing at one. Well, so many hard-throwing relievers in the game these days, you would think that guys have made the adjustment, but I don't know if you ever get used to it. Just pumping gas out of the bullpen. It's so hard to play catch-up. Righty to the plate. Swings through that one. It's a strikeout. And that quickly, two away. Lars Newbar. Next up for the Cardinals. Newbar. Swings through that one. 0-1. Oh Boom. That's cheddar, baby. The pitch. And he blows that one by him at 100. The 0-2. Stays alive. Trying to send this to extra innings. And a foul ball. He stays alive. All tied up here in the last half of inning number nine. Check swing. Now an appeal to third. No swing, says Freddie Ferguson. Left hand hitter waits. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. Third out, and that ends the frame. Here in St. Louis, we're in extras here, and now the switch hitting catcher, Adley Rutschman. Catcher number 35, Adley Rutschman. The pitch. And immediately pumps in a strike to the left handed hitter. Now a drag bunt, third base side. They get one. Tag out at third. And that's a double play. Now the left fielder, Austin Hayes. The left fielder, Austin Hayes. And he swings and misses at the initial offering. And that's outside. Out. 
swing and a line drive base hit out of the center field so a two out knock keeps the inning alive always feels amazing getting a job done when the team needs you to come now through that. it's just Wait, bigger wait. than your own individual oh, yeah. stats. Pretty good spot. Yeah, yeah. Hard and in. Here goes the runner. Swing at a ball lifted to center field. And that is that. Your attention please. Now pitching for the game. Number 58. Welcome back. CNN. On to the bottom of the 10. Here's the left fielder, Juan Yepes. Leading off for the Cardinals, the left fielder. Now a step off, and he's caught between the bases. Throw to third. Save. The pitch. See the velocity 97 with that fastball. And now the lefty swinging a foul back. That's out of play. I think ultimately you want to tie him up, get the ball in on the plate so that he can't get the barrel to it and hit it to the outfield. Stays alive. And a pitch. And ball one. In the infield at the corners. Don't be surprised to see them come home first and prevent that run from scoring. Urias picks it up. Save! He beat it! And this ball game is over. Across is the winning run, and the Cardinals walk it off in extra innings. Well, you come to the ballpark hoping you'll see something special that day, whether you're a player or a fan. A walk-off win, nobody forgets that. A memorable moment that'll be logged in the backs of the minds of everybody that witnessed this here today. And your final score here today, 2-1. For Chris Singleton and our entire outstanding crew here at MLB The Show, I'm John Chomby. Thanks for joining us. St. Louis Cardinals, two runs on eight hits, one error. They left seven men on base. For the Orioles, one run, eight hits, no errors. They left.